What's up guys, the iPhone 15 family might be a far bigger upgrade than we thought so far, as a new report now suggests all 4 new iPhone 15 models will get a massive increase in battery size. The report comes from a Foxconn employee speaking to Chinese publication IT Home, and it reveals the exact battery size for all 4 new models. Specifically, it suggests the vanilla iPhone 15 model will get the biggest increase with a nearly 18% larger battery, while the Pro Max will get a battery boost of 12%. If this indeed true, it might be the single most important improvement for the new iPhone 15 family. Such a change comes on top of a massive improvement in the power efficiency of the new A17 chip. Apple clearly doesn't want to lose its position as a battery champion, but this year they have been seriously shaken by the Samsung Galaxy S23 series, which showed almost the same battery life as the iPhone 14 series. So getting this kind of a battery increase along with a vastly more efficient processor well, rip Android. However, do keep in mind that the source puts an 80% probability on this rumor and we recommend taking it with a grain of salt. Our concern is that Apple is rumored to be using mostly the same chassis for the iPhone 15 series, so we are not sure how the company could fit those bigger batteries, but of course it is possible. So with no further ado, here are the exact numbers that this report predicts for the iPhone 15 series. iPhone 15 3877 mAh battery plus 18%, iPhone 15 Pro 3650 mAh plus 14%, iPhone 15 Plus 4912 mAh is also plus 14%, and iPhone 15 Pro Max 4852 mAh plus 12% up from 4323 mAh on 14 Pro Max. As you can see, these are big improvements, especially for the vanilla iPhone 15 model, which could be getting a bigger battery than the iPhone 12 Pro Max from a few years ago. The iPhone 14 model that is currently on sale averages about 6 hours of screen time, and with such an update, we might get well into 7 hours of screen time or more on the iPhone 15. As for the iPhone 15 Plus and iPhone 15 Pro Max models, those are also getting a welcome boost. Even now, most people average 2 days between charges on these larger phones, and now, does this mean that you could use the phones for 3 days of the charger? Once again, nobody knows, but we are definitely excited about that possibility. What we know with far bigger certainty is that all four iPhone 15 models will make the switch to a USB-C port and away from the proprietary lightning cable that Apple has been using for the last decade or so. This is great news and it is also possible that we get slightly faster charging speeds along with that transition. As we pointed earlier, our biggest doubt about this rumor has got to do with the design of the phones. We have heard that Apple might tweak some minor things in the design, but the overall 6.1-inch size for the vanilla and Pro models and 6.7 inch size for the Plus and Pro Max models remain the same. How will the company fit so much larger batteries in roughly the same space? While on the topic of battery life, we should mention that Apple is set to use the new A17 Bionic 3 nanometer chip on the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and that chip is rumored to bring a 35% improvement in power efficiency. So far, we have to guess about all of that, but Apple typically releases its new iPhones in the beginning of September, so it won't be too long until we find out from the source itself. And be sure, we will keep you updated, so guys, subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching this video, please share it with your friends, see you in the next one.